and uh, Rihan Alawala called me after 15 minutes and uh, before that he sent me his introduction links and then he called me at his house I was uh, given a, I gave an interview and then I was selected from Gilgit from Gujrawala from Tandualayar and from Hyderabad all of these people they're so positive Assalamu alaikum. This is Altaf Education Wala, Principal of Rehani School, Kurangi Campus. Uh, today I have special guest, Captain Jazzeb Hashimi Saab. Thank you so much, sir, to joining our Rehan School broadcast. Uh, first of all, uh, please introduce yourself. And, uh, thank you very much. Walaikum assalam. Thank you very much that you called me in your show, uh, Altaf Bhai. And my introduction is that. Uh, I am 52 years old and this long journey had started from Karachi, got birth in Karachi, went to Lahore, had my schooling from Lahore, came to Multan, did my metric from there and uh, then I was shifted to Karachi, did FSC, went back to Multan, did my BSc third year, joined the army, uh, got commission from Pakistan Military Academy Kakul from Aptabad and then uh, was posted to 11 Cavalry Frontier Force, back to Multan, stayed there for four years, had uh, training in Noshera for six months, training in Quetta, uh, School of Infantry for three months, then was on medical ground, sported out from the army, went to Lahore, then back to Karachi, and since then I'm in Karachi. Got married, have one son who was born in 2000, and uh, did my MBA from a local university in human resources. And since past one month, I am in Rehan Foundation. This is the whole introduction. Uh, thank you so much uh, for wonderful introduction. And uh, my second question is this. Uh, tell about, uh, tell about uh, how to find out Rehan School Kurangi Campus. Well, this is a very interesting question. Thank you very much that you asked this question. Uh, after a very long journey in the corporate world, uh, I was, because of the economic turmoil our country is suffering through, the common man is also, uh, you know, uh, related to this, uh, uh, affected from this turmoil and quagmire. So I was also one of them. So I was jobless and I was trying very hard to get a job somewhere in some company so that I can start my uh, bread and butter, but wasn't able to find anyone. So one day my wife, she told me that I should work as a volunteer in some welfare organization. I said, okay, I will work. And therefore I started scrolling the browser, Google, uh, and was trying to find a social worker organization where I can do my volunteer uh, job. So in that pursuit, I found Rehan Foundation uh, address and number. I called on that number and told that this is Captain Dad Dhanvev Hashmi. And that time, PR Walla was not attached. I said, this is Captain Dad Dhanvev Hashmi. And I'm looking for a job. And on the other side, there was Imran leadership wala. He picked up the phone and he said, okay, do you want to work? And yes, so send me your CV. I immediately sent my CV to him, which he showed to Rehan Alawala Bhai. And Rehan Alawala called me after 15 minutes. And before that, he sent me his uh, introduction links. And then he called me at his house. I was uh, given, a, I gave an interview and then I was selected. Oh, wonderful uh, story. 
Uh, so, uh, what you have for learn at Rehan School uh, till uh, now? I think 52 years, I did not learn that much what I learned in this one year. I found friends like you. I never trusted people or always had a, you know, skeptical uh, emotion against strangers, which I now understand where I was wrong. And um, I found that uh, being Pakistani and being uh, Muslims, all of us, we have to share our happiness and sorrows together and we can trust each other. And after working with uh, in Rehan Foundation, I had the chance to move around in Pakistan. Recently, I am coming from Islamabad after spending 17 or 18 days. Then in Islamabad, moving to Peshawar and uh, Kashmir and all the places. Before that, I also had the chance to visit uh, and participate in Connected Pakistan Conference. The two times I had been uh, able to participate in that conference. The other thing is that uh, I learned how to, you know, uh, be cordial and be uh, more positive because whosoever I'm meeting in Rehan Foundation, people from America, Europe, India, from Gilgit, from Gujrawala, from Kandualayar, and from Hyderabad, all of these people, they're so positive. They're so positive. I really like them. <laughs> <laughs> so please laugh <laughs> Achha, then I I found it very I found it very you know uh, very uh, very encouraging and supportive and this is what I've learned wow a wonderful experience uh, with the Rehan Foundation uh, no so what is the pattern uh, is education in Rehan School Kurangi campus? Yeah, very good question and a very serious question. Uh, since one year, Rehan Lawala is sending me almost daily links about education. I have listened to Sir Ken Robinson videos more than you know ten to fifteen videos. About uh, of Sir Ken Robinson and I think over I, if I'm not wrong and if I'm not exaggerating more than 50 videos about education from TED Talks and I'm also meeting people from all over Pakistan like Gulsana Mansha, Mansha came to uh, Karachi and she visited our school She's from like Beacon House, uh, Lahore, and uh, people like uh, Riyadh, Afzal, and people like uh, so many other people uh, uh, but, uh, from Kashmir. Recently, we met in a, we went to a madrasa, and so many other people related to education, Ijaz Bashir, and all that. All of them. I learned that this school has a totally different concept which is very, very effective and valuable for the people, for the students because their confidence which we are trying to nurture in them is much, much more stronger, much, much more valid, much, much more effective than any school you know, trying to nurture in their students. The pattern of education is so unique that uh, no school in the world, even the people from Finland, where it is said that has the best education system of the world, 
they also say that we find that Tehran School Kurangi campus, what they are trying to instill in the students uh, reading in that school is above any standard which is every anywhere in the world. The Wala Wali concept and the interview concept and the TED Talk concept and the faceless video and, you know, acclimatizing and, uh, you know, trying to make, uh, understand the uh, computer technology and all that is totally out of the world and out of the box. Thank you so much. Uh, you have very well explained about uh, Arihan School Kurangi Campus Education. Uh, now, uh, second, uh, third, my question is this. Uh, what is the vision of Rehan al Lawala? Well, this is a very difficult question. And uh, Rehan al Lawala is a very complex personality. And uh, he has spent like uh, his 50 years of his life in a quality environment. Because whatever he has been moving around the world, he claims that he has spent, he has visited 85 countries and lived in four to five more countries for a considerable period. He has a very, uh, you know, good mind, intelligent, genius mind. He capitulates things very uh, easily. His retention power is uh, stupendous and uh, his vision is that he wants in my opinion to see the entire world out of poverty that everybody in this world should be able to quench his or her thirst do not suffer from hunger and should be able to protect him or her from the calamities of weather and uh, like should be able to live easily, comfortably and should be able to have a brain groomed into a kingdom where the uh, human excellence prevails to its entire, uh, you know, beauty. So this is what it is. I think he has his vision that everybody should be able to live independently and freely and exclusively. This is what the vision is. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you have very uh, beautiful explanation about Rehan and Lavala. And uh, now, uh, how to think uh, the vision of Rehan and Lavala to positive role in our uh, Pakistani youth? The yeah, Pakistani youth, because uh, I think uh, Rehan and Lavala is putting his all his effort to make our country, our youth, I just said, independent and morally and, and their character to a high level. But uh, he's trying to have its maximum effort to make the youth understand that this life is given once. Y O L O, you live only once. Yeah, you live only once. So he wants to tell people and the youth that there will not be a second chance to do your max, become the best, and you can do it. And this, he always says that you are one among the 250 million, so you know things uh, which uh, you have got the chance out of 250 million uh, you know uh, that uh, try, try it so uh, 
the youth should understand that um, we should not live a life which is wasting a life. We should live thriftily. We should live uh, in a better and a calculated manner and should live to learn and to earn that much that we should live self-sufficiently and self-esteem should not be uh, you know, hurt and damaged due to our uh, wrong beats impact. This is what is you wonderful. Uh, after uh, Rehan School, uh, oh, sorry, Rehan Foundation joined us, your name is Aldi, uh, Captain Janzeb Hashimi. Uh, now you have uh, at Wala. And after at uh, your name, Wala, uh, PR Wala, how to change uh, your life? Yes, it changed my life. My chacha, he's an old man. He is like 89 years old. He said, a year back you were Hashmi, now you are PR Wala. So there's a lot of difference. So I go, yes, PR Wala is public relation Wala. People know me now. My Facebook ID, my uh, social media platforms are now PR Wala. And it's public relation Wala. I think I have the ability which uh, Rehan Bhai sensed in me that I can make bridges among human beings. I can make friends, I can make brothers. And with establishing relationship with others, the networking, we can unite together and live uh, like a one nation, one body of nation, and who has the strength to stand in open resistance to anything which is going wrong and should not be against the positive uh, effort. So that is what Wala is, to bring everybody under a one slogan, that is we are one nation and we are one body and we are one united together as one nation. And this is why I want to bring every human being, all the universe, of all the earth, united together and living together peacefully, harm, uh, in harmony and in tranquility. This is what the concept is. Thank you so much, uh, PR Wala. You will a uh, very good explanation about uh, Wala. Uh, now, my last question is, that what is uh, <clears throat> your advice? Uh, in our uh, youth of Pakistan. My advice of for the youth of Pakistan is to stop chewing gutka, smoking, and niswar, and then um, cigarettes, and wasting time on, in just listening songs, watching movies, irrelevant talk. Irrelevant talk means fazul bate, irrelevant talk. Talk of nonsense, which has no uh, result oriented talk. Stop arguing, stop persistent questioning, altercation, stop spending waste, uh, wastefully, like be thrift, do not be a spendthrift prodigal, squanderer, or like a person who's spending money just for nothing. So these are my advices. And be united and hold the faith as uh, very strongly and live your lives. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. You have uh, wonderful uh, advice to our youth and uh, inshallah we will uh, and everybody to uh, implement in your life to these things. Uh, no, you have uh, very well chance in uh, see you in your life. Thank you so much, uh, Captain Jazdeb Hashan Piarwala, and uh, thank you so much everyone to listen this show. Allah Hafiz.